To perform de novo transcriptome assembly and annotation in LaserGene, first set up a transcriptome assembly in Seekman Engine. Choose de novo assembly, then select your read technology and load your sequencing data. In this case, I'm loading some sequencing reads from a Brassica species. Next, download a transcript annotation database that most closely matches the organism you're working with. In this case, we'll select plant. During assembly, the software will compare the assembled contigs to known genes from RefSeq and cluster the contigs into larger, more complete transcripts. Review the assembly options. If you have limited RAM, you may wish to limit the number of assembled reads. Next, name your project and choose a project folder. Note that the output will be a .transcriptome package. Now, start the assembly. After assembly, open the transcriptome package in Seekman Pro. Here you'll see a report of all the assembled transcripts grouped into two tabs, identified transcripts, which match genes from the RefSeq database, as well as novel transcripts. You can sort this table by any of the available columns, for example, gene name, organism name, percent gene match, which describes how much of the gene in the database matches the assembled transcript, and percent identity, which describes the similarity between the assembled transcript and the matching portion of the RefSeq gene. Note that the help file describes these columns in more detail. Double-click on a transcript row to open the alignment of the assembled contig. From here, you can also open the strategy view to see the assembly coverage. You can also select subsets of transcripts and save them as a FASTA file to be used as a reference set for RNA-seq analysis. You can then perform RNA-seq analysis under differing conditions by setting up a new transcriptome assembly, this time selecting templated assembly, and then loading your assembly results as a reference set. You can either choose the FASTA file with selected transcript results, or load the entire .transcriptome package with all of the de novo assembly results. You can then choose to include identified transcripts or novel transcripts or both as a reference set for RNA-seq analysis.